ladies and gentlemen. I feel the same way. I feel the same way. Ladies and gentlemen, my first guest tonight is an Emmy, Grammy, and Academy Award winning legend whose new memoir is called Homework. Please welcome back to The Late Show, the practically perfect Julie Andrews. A pleasure to see you again. No, it's so lovely to see you too. Well, I've had the opportunity to speak to you several times. Yes. We've spoken backstage a couple oh, yeah. of times. We've yeah. sung together. And still, <laughs> the, the first question I want to ask you every time I see you is, wow. Uh, I'm so excited to see you every time. I'm I just, see. That's yes. not exactly a question. It's not. It's no. more of an emotional reaction. Right. Well, I'm just I trying feel to keep the same way honest. about you. Oh, uh, thank Steve. you, Julie yeah. Andrews. Wow. Wow. <laughs> um, now, Now, uh, the, the sort of the the the, the film that uh, propelled you to your first fame, really internationally, was Mary Poppins. Best film I ever made. Oh, first film, but yeah. you won an Oscar yeah. for that, right? Uh, yes. Extraordinary. Yeah. Extraordinary. Um, but the sound of music really cemented uh, your legacy. The, 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 that following Mary Poppins, mm. um, you weren't in the original Broadway cast. No, in sound of no, music. no, no, not the not the stage production. Not in the stage production. No, no. Okay. Um, had you seen the Broadway production? Before? Yeah, I had. had okay. uh, no, it the, thought the music was lovely. wasn't You know, felt it was maybe could have been a little bit saccharine at times. <laughs> and uh, really? when they it, well, well too think sweet? about Maria it, Maria was a little too sweet for well, you. Well. You know, seven children and uh, and uh, the Alps, supposedly. Beautiful music, gorgeous music. Sure. And uh, Helicopter shots? Well, that's in the film, yes. A yes, lot of yes. helicopter shots. Yes. But um, I thought it could have been with the real stuff outside, mm. the real Salzburg, very, very uh, uh, oversweet. But everybody on the film wanted to make it as as stringent as possible, including lovely Chris Plummer and our wonderful director, Robert Wise. Um, and when you say astringent, you mean like take some of the sweetness out yeah, of it? Yeah, take some of the saccharine out of it. Okay. And, and just, well, if, just try to kind of make it as real as possible and not too sugary, really. Right, because there are Nazis in it, and that usually... <laughs> that is not I find that to be all. a dash yeah. of vinegar in a lot of stories. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yes, and, and yeah. indeed there were, you know, some sets that we were on that were, you, when you think about what they used to be and mm. who used to be there, it wasn't pleasant, but... No. Uh, now, Christopher Plummer, um, he's a very intimidating captain, Captain Von Trapp in that. Was he serious or lighthearted off camera? Oh, uh, mostly very lighthearted. I mean, he's a mm -hmm. great guy and he's just tremendous friend and we've just stayed friends over the years that's nice love seeing each other and mm. um he was the glue that held the whole thing together really? i think well he made it he gave it that strength and uh, uh was very kind to work with and you, i loved what he did in the film can you tell me this is of course one of the most you know <laughs> somewhere in my youth or childhood this is you know of course one of the most famous scenes in the movie the two of you in the gazebo um, can you tell me about shooting this? Yeah, you know, you know the story. I know you. Well, do. it's show business, Julie. <laughs> of course, I know the story. <laughs> I I hate to uh, give away such a beautiful, wonderful scene, but uh, they lit that scene because it was a gazebo. Uh, they lit it with huge, what they call Klieg lights, which are very strong. Uh, so spotlights. it wasn't always in silhouette. No, not at all. This is what I'm getting to. Yes. Patience, dear yes, lad. No, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, this is me. This is called setting you up. I'm, I'm setting you up, darling. <laughs> anyway, uh, eventually all the lamps were tipped down to give shafts of moonlight. And uh, what happened was that the carbons that were rubbing in the lamps began to groan and moan. And it seemed like a terrible comment on our acting. You know, when Chris was saying, oh, Maria, I love you, we go, Aah. 
and other extremely rude noises. <laughs> <laughs> well, after a while, you know, they cut, put new carbons in, still it did it. And finally, it got so bad that I could see Chris's eyes creasing a little, and my, I giggle at the slightest thing anyway. And uh, Bob Wise realised that we were impossible. Closed the set, we went to lunch. I prayed that I wouldn't giggle anymore, because I was. Uh, it's very hard to be nose to nose doing a love scene and having these awful raspberries coming at you from... <laughs> so it was, somewhere in my youth and child... That's exactly right. <laughs> and the dialogue. Yes. So then we had lunch and came back, started up all over again, and Robert Wise said, I know what we'll do. Just, I want you to walk into the silhouette. I'll shoot it at the door, that wonderful shot, which was great serendipity. And he said, then you can laugh all you like, because it won't show. And immediately we shut up, and it was just fine. So, <laughs> but it's a story that, that I remember very well. Um, one of uh, my other favorite people in the world is your dear friend, Carol Burnett. Oh, God, she's such a and, chum. And you, absolutely just a, wonderful, and I admire a pro, too. Yeah. She's such a pro. Um, you did three specials together, I understand. Yes, okay. we did, yeah. When you guys are together... And she's my lovely daughter's godmother. Oh, nice. But lovely. The one who helped me with the book, too. Oh. Yep. Um, this book... That book, yes, that one. And the, the, there was one before that. Homework, called yeah. Home, was the one before this. That's right. Oh, About this ten homework. years ago, there was a book called Home, which mm -hmm. Emma helped me with tremendously, and, and this one, too. Um, when Carol's mischievous... Yes. ..who is more mischievous, you or her? Well, I have to say she brings up <laughs> the worst in me. I get, <laughs> <laughs> I get to be pretty raunchy and very wicked, and uh, I think even she gets shocked sometimes. Really? So I guess... the things that you say? Well, I can't possibly repeat all of them, but... Um, Can you repeat any, any of them? them? <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is CBS. I'm not yes, sure if no, uh, I Julie think, Andrews... I don't can, know if we're we rated for Julie. Can we move right along? We'll move right along. Right, Moving thank you, on. Steve. Yeah. Um, well, now, as I said, you've got the new book, Homework. Yes. And, and in it, uh, you're actually very open about the, the what the role that therapy, therapy has pay, played in your life. Yeah. Um, when did you first start going to therapy? Oh, um, sadly, I um, separated from my lovely first husband, and uh, separations were always inevitable, and it, it, uh, the marriage was over, and my head was so full of clutter and garbage, mm -hmm. and I thought, I, uh, believe it or not, uh, it was Mike Nichols who really tipped me into wanting to go to therapy because he had been, I don't think he'd mind my saying that now, and uh, he was so sane and funny and, and clear. He had a clarity that I admired so much, and I wanted that for myself, and I didn't feel I had it. Mm -hmm. So I went and uh, got into it, and it saved my life in a way. W why did you want to share that? What was that important but for you? But the truth to, to is... Know? Stephen, why not? If it helps anybody else have, have the same idea. I agree. Yeah, and uh, these, these days there's no harm in sharing it. I think everybody knows the great work it can do. And anybody that can, is lucky enough to um, have it, afford it, and take advantage of it, I think it would be wonderful, yeah. Well, Julie, thank you so much for being here. Always, wow, a pleasure. Uh, for me, the too, The book, Stephen. Homework, is available now. Julie Andrews, everybody. We'll be right back with Broadway star Jonathan Groh.